Welcome back to 5 or maybe 10 minute knives. This time we're going to be talking about Olight. And I got some feedback. Uh, and just in case you guys thought I hate Olight based on the fact that I wasn't really down with this guy for tactical application just because finding this button on the side in the dark is a little weird. I will say I've warmed up to it. So much so that I got my lady this really nice purple one. I'd get it for myself if I could get away with it. So that was for her. And this has really uh, grown on me since the review. However, I stand behind what I said. I don't think it's the best light for tactical use for that reason. Now, I wanted to get with something with a tail cap. And here's one here. Everybody talks about this guy for tactical application. Here's the warrior with that really aggressive bezel on the front. And you get a tail cap. Look at that. But look, I just pressed it once. Nothing happened. See? This is what I'm talking about. What is happening? Sometimes it likes me, sometimes it doesn't. Ergo, I don't want to use this one for tactical application. I do like the button on the side. This is a great patrol light, if you ask me. This sits in my tack vest, uh, kind of like cross draw. And I love it. It's a little Kubaton, too. You could actually scrap a roux with that if you wanted to. This guy, I have a couple of these things. This is the, oh, what is it? The I3T EOS here with a tail cap on the back. And this kind of um, goes against my beloved streamlight but here's the thing about the streamlight the tail cap is way more responsive and better um the finish is way better on these the light source i don't really care much about with a light on you know at this size but this just has kind of like a clicky crunchy it's okay uh but this goes in like my urban get home packs things like that uh you give it to the kid um, we don't want to show firearms on this channel because you know how YouTube feels about that, but I do have this um, Valkyrie Pro, and today I just got in, boom, this guy, the new uh, Balder Mini, the laser in it, we're going to look at that. But I can't show this to you on a weapon because I want to get monetized someday. It's the dream, right? So this channel, I'm not really too, um, I don't know what the word is, I, I don't go too crazy with it, I just put videos up and let what happen will, you know. Whatever you guys do is what you do. If you subscribe, great. I would appreciate it. But I don't care. I'm not begging. It's for fun. I have a bunch of gear. My friends wanted to know my thoughts on it. I started a channel. Simple as that. Okay. And then we got this guy. This is the Iron Man. This is my ladies. And today, I got, I'm so excited I got this. Same, same thing, but or orange. And then in my review of this P-Run, I kept saying pre-run. It's the P-Run. I wish it was the pre-run. Mini, I said this could be the best thing ever because I can make a fist and uh, it's really awesome. However, it has now fallen, um, in my opinion. I do like that. I, now, this the patch goes on my tack vest on my chest and I click this on and I can click it up and down. It's very responsive. So I can turn this on and I have a patrol light that's not on my head in that weird uh, headband. Also, you see how this is kind of like waffled in there? It gives more of like a, uh, what's the cone? You get the cone rather than a, an intense beam. It's okay, but it's fallen. Then I got this on the keychain. What does this guy do? Oh, yeah, this is just a non-rechargeable little guy. Very nice. I actually really like that a lot. And then this one here. And it's a little rechargeable deal. And kind of same deal there, the little guy. So don't say I don't like Olight because I haven't won a single contest. And look at all the Olight crap I have. So this guy here. I'm not going to do a big thing on this. This is a UV light, and if you guys can hear the crickets in the background, we have a bearded dragon in the house, and we keep a bunch of bugs in the terrarium with them, with her. And I got this so I can spy on the bugs without disturbing anyone. Not worth an unboxing, but just to show I buy a lot of Olight stuff. This one I'm going to do a whole dedicated review on. I know you guys are curious about it. What I really like about this is the green laser actually comes through the lens and sits a little higher to the barrel. But again, because I can't show you guys weapons you know um you know doing the weapon lights reviews is a little weird i will do them so look here's the box here's the pull me again i know i'm not the most professional on youtubes i've learned to keep these boxes in good shape because with these sprint runs and this and that sometimes something comes out you want a little more and i can sell it if you keep everything in nice shape somebody's gonna buy it right so there's all this stuff you get the lanyard you get a charger we now have a million of these chargers i'm happy Oh, and this is really cool too. I did order extra batteries and I'm going to keep them charged. This is going to be my new EDC Amazing Light. 
and in part because I'm on this huge orange and black kick, as I've mentioned before. And in another reason is because I find myself stealing my girl's little Iron Man, uh, what is this, the SR, S1R Baton 2. I steal this all the time. I love the Firefly mode, and what that's done is it's actually replaced my love for the little crappy stream lights that I always promote, because they really are so handy, so affordable, really great size. I haven't tried out the new macro yet, but Olight keeps stealing my damn money. So I haven't gotten around to it, and I have no need for any more lights. I can't just, look at this. I can't justify anymore, she'll leave me. So this is the light. This is my guy. And why has this, by the way, which one's better looking? I don't know. I kind of think this with the more aggressive knurling. That's dope. And I love that I can do like the Green Lantern, like let there be light kind of fist. You know, and, and this is actually even very comfortable if I hold it above my head and I want to see what's going on. But again, I think this is better on my chest. It gives like a wide throw, a wide cone, and I just put it on uh, my tack vest on the front. This guy sits in a holster in my tack vest for patrol, and then I have a weapons light in my firearm on my tack vest. So I have three light sources on the tack vest. Uh, should I ever get separated from the pack, so to speak, I'll be able to find my way home. So I don't know. I love that. But why has this overtaken this cool little Green Lantern thing P run. I'll tell you why. One, this is the form factor I'm used to. I'm used to a beam in the front. Two, you get a stronger beam with this guy. Three, and most important, this button, I'll, I gotta take it apart. This button will actually tell you, let's show you on this one that's charged. Bap, bap. If it's charged or not, see that green? That'll turn, uh, what is it, orange, then red when you need a charge. That's valuable. When you have all these lights and you're switching between them, it's kind of like, um, my Seiko uh, SK5 watch review where I said it's automatic, but it's kind of a pain in the butt if you wear more than one watch. That's why I switched over to the G-Shock, okay? Because that is just charged forever. It's just amazing. It's Bluetooth compatible. It's replaced all my watches. And I'm getting kind of sad because I want this gear review channel to go on forever. However, I keep kind of perfecting my EDC. <laughs> it feels like I'm getting the gear I'm going to keep for years and years, and that's going to make for a boring channel. So when I run out of stuff... One thing we could do, if you guys really like the channel, is you could send me stuff, I guess, to review. I'm not pandering. I'm just saying, like, if I start slowing down, don't be mad at me. It just means I love all my gear and I don't want to buy anything new. I'm actually starting to save money these days as well and invest it. So I don't want to dump all my money into gear because, again, it's getting harder and harder to justify as my gear collection gets huge. And I can't explain to my girl why I need another light, nor why she does. So this has become my new EDC. I'm going to keep a couple of spare batteries charged at all times in my uh, get home bag. And that's it. This fits in um, uh, my 24 seven uh, BDU pants. There's actually a little spot for this right behind the pocket. It's amazing. Also another reason I've grown to get really comfy with the S2R that fits in there perfectly. This little guy is actually a little small for that pocket and runs the risk of falling out. So now, just based on circumstance, I've come to this diameter. But out of this diameter, this guy's like a thousand lumens. This guy's like 1250 or something. I can't remember. Look it up. It's not that kind of channel. You know better by now. But um, there's not a tremendous difference between the two that I can visibly pick up. And for like the lighter weight, I, you always go lighter weight with EDC. We know that. But, um, and I love this P run, but now it just sits on my tack vest. So what I do, if you guys have a lot of Olights, what I recommend is basically you pick a day out of, uh, you know, every two weeks or a day out of the month. We just charge all your Olights. Why not? It's kind of fun. It, it gets you more familiar with everything's located, ensures you have a charge. Plus with these ones, you can check. And again, I didn't, I didn't set it up quite yet. So you have to take it apart and do all the business to it. But you can even feel when you unscrew these things, how quality they are. You take this little film out, boop. I know, I'm being sloppy. I kind of like that this channel is not like serious though. A lot of reviewers will do it better than I ever could and I'm not trying to step on toes. I'm just trying to give you guys just another opinion and honestly I've brought up some points I haven't seen in other videos so I don't know. Take what you want from that. But there's that, that brightness and you see the green so it's already charged. But one of the things I love about these lights is the firefly mode. Where is it? Am I doing it? Yeah, that's firefly mode. Look at that. So I don't wake up my girl when I, you know, when I want to check something out. 
this is really where it's at. I'm super duper excited about this. I will do another video on this guy, the Boulder Mini, but you guys have seen a million come out. I don't want to just come out with the same stuff at the same time. I'd rather stagger it. And plus it's five minute knives. We're already up to 10 and change. Here's the deal. Let's talk about this one. And basically we're saying Olight, right? Is Olight a buy? Sure. And what I would say is this, if you're going to have just one light, you could probably go with a lot of companies. Uh, most notably, I would probably argue Streamlight would be a better one light option. Probably in the macro, I haven't tried it yet, would be a great EDC size. However, if you're going to have more than one light for more than one application, and we're fixing to move to the country, so I'm going to get into the big guys pretty soon from Olight, and you have your charging situation set up, where it's kind of universal and it's across the board, then yes, I totally, totally recommend Olight. Their customer service is okay. I hit up one guy and asked him a question. Uh, he had a beard and was fairly a little, uh, little short with me, but I understand they were busy after the sale, and it took a little while to ship this. I don't mind. I understand, and I'm not, I'm not delicate, so I'm not going to give them bad marks on customer service. They've always worked with me in the past, so I'm going to give them a B, a B for customer service, which in this day and age is about the most you can hope for. But look how sharp that is, and I'm not going to lie. I wasn't going to buy this because we already have Iron Man. We already have all these other ones. I'm on this orange and black kick, and I couldn't say no to it. And I needed something new that was flush fit for my wep my uh, nightstand weapon. So I just kind of lumped this in with the sale. Guys, I got it for like 50 bucks on that flash sale. Um, and this was included for free, this UV light. So very, very, very cool. I like it a lot. Is it a buy? For sure. As a matter of fact, if you're going to buy one light, uh, I would say fine, but get yourself a few extra batteries and keep them in one of these cases, and then you're good to go forever. Why not? And you can even take the batteries out and charge them in a little charging station anyway. So even if you lost all your magnetic chargers, you're still good to go. Not a big deal. Guys, it's a total buy. It's a no-brainer for me. I hope it helps uh, your decision-making. Um, if you don't care about color, get this beast in black, and you'll save some money. They're awesome. This is a great, great light. I, all the hype is real. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you next time on 5-Minute Knives.